Hello happy people, welcome back to Nail Therapy Thursday and today I'm excited because I have a peel off base coat review for you all. Um, this is the peel off base coat that I use underneath this set. Um, this is the NYC um, Strip It Off, was it Strip Me Off? Uh, peel off base coat so that's what that looks like um i did try this for the first time um when i did these sets um i did two coats of the peel off base coat underneath this and it's just a regular gel polish set and then i did uh one coat of peel off base coat underneath this set and um these are dip powder nails so i do want to go ahead and show you um how they held up um i'm going to remove this one first this one i've had on for I think a day and a half. I did them not this morning, but yesterday morning. So I've had these on for a day and a half. And these I've literally only had on for maybe like, um, I think like maybe eight or nine hours. So not even a full day. So I'm going to see if these are peel off too. So I'm going to start with this hand and see how easy it goes. Uh, this hand did, this finger right here, the design was peeling off. I don't know if it was due to the peel off base coat. Um, I think it was because of how I cured this. Um, this powder was really difficult to cure because it's more pigmented and so I think it's peeling off because of how the dip powder was cured because these aren't moving at all and I didn't have the issue with these nails um, and as you can see here this is already flaking up and underneath here you can kind of see uncured product so um, that was an unfortunate thing that happened with this set but because it's peeling off I want to go ahead and see if I can get these all off. Um, I do have tutorials on both of these sets, um, so I'll link those videos uh, down in the description box. But yeah, let's see if this stuff actually worked. So I have my um, cuticle pusher here, and I'm just gonna see if I can get these products off. Wow, yeah, it does look pretty easy. Okay, look at that. So you can see here, that's the glue right there. So yeah, it. <laughs> It, it worked, you know, so that peeled right off like it was almost like Elmer's glue. And this one is the one that I put super glue under. So let's see how this worked. So I think this one's difficult coming off because I did put super glue underneath it. Okay, yeah. So this is what I was talking about having the difficulty with curing the nail, uh, this dip powder, and then everything that's still on my nail is probably just the super glue that I put on there. So I'll have to scrape that off and try to remove it uh, later. Um, let's see what this one will do here. These should peel off pretty easily. Yeah, look at that. So it's almost like I just break the seal. Wow, look at that, you guys. I like it. Look how easily that came off. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so and you see how these didn't have any issues with curing, so I think that's why that happened. Okay. I <laughs> Okay, so I feel like I've been asleep on peel off base coat because uh, this just made my life so much easier. So I think you just gotta kinda break the seal on the side here. And once you do that, yeah, look at that. So I broke the seal and then I'm just kinda getting the cuticle pusher underneath here. And look at that. I mean, it just comes right off, what? Oh my goodness, and that's so cool, and I can like save this design for later. Okay, yeah, I'm here for that. Um, and then I have a feeling this one's not gonna come off as easily as well, because again, this dip powder did not wanna cure properly, so let's see. It's still coming up fairly easy, and yeah, that's what that looks like. Okay, cool, so yeah, um, all in all, this definitely did work, and I'm actually excited these designs in particular aren't the ones that messed up because these are thermal and they glow in the dark, so I'm gonna save this for my um, repertoire so I can come back and see the cool design that I did. So what I'm gonna do is file these off really quick, um, but if you didn't have any issues with uh, curing and things like that, these would've popped off like no problem. So I'm just gonna file these off camera really quick and I'll be right back. So, I was able to get everything off this hand. Um, I will say if I didn't have these curing issues over here, or pretty much on the nails where I had red on there, they would have popped off really easily like these middle two fingers did. Next, I'm gonna see how this gel polish removes. Again, I did apply two coats um, underneath this set, and I had this set on for um, about, 
Let's see, what time is it now? I've had this set on for about maybe 10 hours. Um, not even 12 hours though. So I think about 10, 11 hours. So now I'm gonna go ahead and see how these pop off. I did notice after I took my shower this morning and I finished applying all of my body care that uh, this particular nail right here had already started lifting on the side. So to me, that tells me that if I do this with gel polish and do two coats, that this stuff probably won't last long at all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go underneath here and start peeling up to see. And you know what though, I just remembered, I did cap my free edge, so I'm gonna go through and just file off just the free edge of all the nails to break that seal, because I'm thinking that's probably um, gonna make taking off the nails a little bit easier. Because I kept the free edge, I was gonna try to keep them on for a few days to see how long they wear, but since the thumb started peeling up, I'm like, let me just go ahead and take them off. Um, and then that'll also give me a good indicator of if I need to do like multiple designs, like in one day that I'll have the ability to. Um, so yeah, I'm just, like I said, breaking the seal around here. And then this is the, the pumpkin here I'm taking off. This set turned out so cute. <clears throat> and yeah, look at that you guys. It just peels right on off, wow. Oh, I see what's happening here. So, I had builder gel on this nail on the tip to repair it. I don't know if y'all can see that there, but that black that you can see underneath my nail, that was the tip that I added on, well, the builder gel that I put on there. And so it looks like the glue uh, didn't separate from that too well. But overall, this is what the pumpkin is looking like when it came off, okay. Overall, that's a pretty good peel to me. And the builder gel is still on tack on the actual surface of the nail. So that's really good to see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I noticed that this one here is also lifting. I don't know if y'all can see that here, but this one's already lifting as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take this one off next. And wow, <laughs> it just popped off like it was nothing. That is so funny. Okay, so that's one. That's two. Let me go ahead and try my index finger. It seems like if you just get right up underneath it um, and break the seal, I mean, it seems like they just pop right off, you guys. I think, oh yeah, this one has builder gel on it too. So I'm curious about this one. This one was weird when it sat on my nails, when it was drying. So let me try this one. Okay, so you see this one's peeling up really easily. Let's see. Yeah, look at that, beautiful. Yeah, once you break the seal, it's good to go. Look at that, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Boom, just like that. All right, so far so good. I'm thinking I like this peel off face coat, you guys. Like, look at that. So once you get underneath the nail, I'm gonna go in with the rest of the cuticle pusher and just peel the rest off. Super easy, super quick, like, wow. This is the quickest I have ever removed gel polish, like ever in my entire life. And no damage to the nail bed, like this is all just like, you know, residue of glue hanging out here. So that's pretty cool. Now, like I said, this one has builder gel on it. So I'm not really sure how I feel about trying to dig too deep. Okay, here we go. There's some lifting here in the back. I'm really catching that. So once I break the seal here in the back, I'm gonna just try to Get the cuticle pusher underneath there. There we go. I don't think I'm gonna be able to save my ghost though. Yeah. So it seems it's like it's kind of weird using it on builder gel, but using it on the actual nail itself is pretty easy. So yeah, so you can see the builder gel, that shininess underneath. So yeah, it doesn't do so well on top of that. But if we can get underneath here. Okay, so there we go. There's a little bit of a peel happening. Not quite. It's trying. Ugh, I hope I don't end up peeling off my actual builder gel. So I'll have to reform my nail. Okay, so let me just there we go. There we go. Alright, there we go. There we go. It looks like it's separated there. Perfect, okay. And that little piece just hanging out on the tip there. Peels right off. All right, so yeah, you guys, um, I just did this in real time with you. And that was very quick. 
Um, again, that's the quickest I have ever peeled off um, my nails. So these are the beautiful little peelies here. <laughs> these are so cute. And these are the ones that kind of made it from my other set. Okay. Like so. Yeah, these barely made it due to curing issues. So I'll keep that in mind. But it seems like I'll, it's one coat with dip powder works great. Two coats with gel polish works wonderful too. Um, seems like I could probably get away with doing one coat of each. But yeah, this stuff peeled off very, very easily like I have never taken my nails off this quick a day in my life like ever so um, I'm just gonna go through and file off just like a little bit more of a color and um, just apply a little bit of cuticle oil to get my nails nice and hydrated again and that's it you all so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursdays. So if you all liked what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I would love to have you. I definitely think that um, this peel off base coat works. Like you see the nails here, no damage, super easy to peel off. So if you all have not tried the NYC Strip Me Off, peel off base coat give it a try it was very inexpensive I feel like I got this on clearance at Walmart but I'll see if I can leave it linked down in the description box for you if you all want to check it out but yeah highly recommend and as always leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye